IndyCar driver Justin Wilson remains in a coma after sustaining a head injury when he was hit by a large piece of debris that broke off a car in a race at Pocono Raceway. The piece broke off Sage Karam's car when he spun into the wall yesterday. Wilson's car veered left and directly into an interior wall. Wilson was swarmed by the safety crew and airlifted by helicopter. Typhoon Goni caused quite a bit of damage as it moved through Japan. The storm hit yesterday, just one day after causing devastation and destruction in the Philippines, where it killed at least 10 people and caused two tornadoes and eight landslides. Danny has been downgraded to a tropical depression. This is a view of Danny from the International Space Station. The storm is falling apart as it approaches the Caribbean islands, so that's good news there for them. The tropical depression will be will deliver much needed rain to that area. Now your Cleveland 19 News first alert weather. Cleveland's most accurate. So it is a little chilly out there, without a doubt. Not slowing down everybody out at Cedar Point. It looks fantastic. There's a lot of blue sky out there. It just kind of depends on where you are. The east side is getting a little more cloud cover, but not really a big deal. Hour by hour today, we're going to keep it on the cool side. I'm sure you kind of figured that out already. Dry, cool air is kind of filtering its way in, and you can see by 3 o'clock we'll be at 74 degrees. By 6 o'clock, 73 degrees. So definitely a chillier afternoon. Yesterday we were in the low 80s, and the humidity value made it feel just a touch warmer. Tonight, think of it as great sleeping weather. We'll see some increasing clouds. There's a small chance that we see some showers out there. Not really a big deal. I'll show you that in a second. But in the meantime, it's 73 out at Cedar Point, 71 at Hopkins, 74 in Akron, Canton, and New Philly. Coming into Cuyahoga County, it's also 74 in Euclid. Shaker Heights is checking in 71 degrees. Lunchtime in 71. It's been a while since we've been this cool, but some of us, it's a nice little break. We do have some cloud cover out there. If I widen out, there's a big spin in our atmosphere. The system is moved off. Any of the rain that we got, light rain at that, has moved off towards the east. But do you see this big spiral right here? Because of this, we're going to get a couple little disturbances over the next couple of days. Just little interruptions to our beautiful, sunshiny, and warm day. So it's not really a big deal, but let me paint the picture for you. Using future view. You got the clouds out there. Anytime you see the green, it means that there's a chance of some rain showers around. Not a big chance. We make it through the day absolutely fine. No problems. Your evening drive will be dry. It's tonight when the clouds are on the increase. We get a little lake enhancement. Here comes part of our first disturbance. And you can see mainly over on the east side. Could get some rain showers over there. Northern part of Ashtabula County, parts of Lake County, even the tip part of Geauga County. So not really a big deal with that. Keep in mind we're cool today, but we have a fantastic weekend to look forward to. Never too early to look forward to the weekends into the 80s again. So you just got to hang on. Today, we're going to stay on the cool side. 74 degrees currently. Heading out to the water today, a little tricky. There's a small craft advisory out there, so it puts quite a bit of big waves, so probably not a good idea, idea for today. So look at this. Our day by day, we stay cool for a couple of days before we bounce right back up for the weekend. So that's the good news. The bad news is, is that we have a couple of days that we're going to be cool. 72 tomorrow, 71 on Wednesday. Oh, right. But hey, most of us will be back in work and school and it's great for the kids on the playground. They get out, they run around, they don't come back into the classroom all hot and sweaty. We don't have to really worry about that till Friday. Friday, the pick day of the week, 77, lots of sunshine, low humidity. And we get the heat back. Exactly. Heating it back. You get it. Here. Just in time for a little more summer shine, a little more summertime. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank Beth. You. Welcome. Well, a Philadelphia meteorologist has been getting body shamed over her pregnancy. Katie Falinger is 35 weeks pregnant with twin girls. And a number of viewers apparently, well, they don't like seeing her baby bump on the air. Now, ever since hitting the two month mark, some viewers have been sending insulting comments and emails, including calling her a quote sausage encasing. She responded with a lengthy Facebook post to her hater saying, frankly, I don't care how terrible or inappropriate or anyone thinks I look. I will gladly gain 50 pounds and suffer sleepless, uncomfortable nights if it means upping my chances to deliver two healthy baby girls. Good for her. So you know yeah. what? I got your back too. Good for now her. tell us what you think about this story. This is definitely a talker. Head to our Facebook page and let us know what you think. Now Hall of Fame receiver Chris Carter is apologizing for some bad advice he gave incoming NFL rookies last year. And just in case y'all not going to decide to do the right thing, if y'all got a crew, you got to have a fall guy in the crew. <laughs> Yeah, 
that's the bad advice that got him in some big trouble. Now Carter is apologizing on Twitter, saying, quote, seeing that video made me realize how wrong I was. I was brought there to educate young people, and instead I gave them very bad advice. Every person should take responsibility for their own actions. I'm sorry, and I truly regret I said that that day. And all right, Buckeye fans, it is unanimous. Ohio State picked as number one in the Associated Press College Football Poll. The defending national champions received all 61 first place votes from the media panel. TCU is number two, followed by Alabama, Baylor, and Michigan State. The Buckeyes won the first college football playoff championship last season and are trying to become the 12th team to win consecutive AP titles since the poll began back in 1936. Go Buckeyes. Now, if you want a better relationship with your spouse, start stepping up with your children. That's according to researchers at Georgia State University. Their report, uh, that which just came out, uh, says that couples that divvy up child care duties have a higher quality relationship and also have better sex. The study tracked almost 500 heterosexual couples. Now, the source comes from the American Sociological Association, uh, Pediatrics, and BMG Open. P uh, pediatricians may be using fewer CT scans on sick children. Researchers at Cincinnati's Children's Hospital found imaging techniques like MRIs and ultrasounds were up and CT scans were down between 2004 and 2012. Researchers say it may have something to do uh, with the chance of causing cancer with too many ultrasounds. All right, the National Zoo is celebrating the arrival of twin giant panda cubs. Panda Mei Zhang gave birth over the weekend. She and the cubs are doing well. We still don't know the cubs' gender. This is the third set of panda twins ever born in the U.S. There's still more to come on Cleveland 19 News at noon. Doctors said he couldn't play football because of his rare brain disease, but his community wasn't going to let the little boy's dream go unfulfilled. That story? Well, it's next.